let's teach our sons to not assault women instead of teaching our daughters how to not be assaulted. I am sure you've heard some variation of that sentiment. I know I have. And this is really akin to saying, let's teach drivers to not hit pedestrians and forget about teaching pedestrians to not be hit by drivers. Drivers should look out for pedestrians. Good drivers do, but pedestrians also need to be on the lookout for the drivers because in a match between a pedestrian and a car, the pedestrian is no match for the car. And yes, a pedestrian has the right of way, but if she is seriously injured or God forbid worse, that legal right of way, that legal victory really isn't going to do her much good. That pedestrian needs to be looking both ways, watching out for cars, being mindful of her surroundings, especially when she's on a busy road. She needs to be aware of where she is walking. That's what that pedestrian needs to be doing because negligent drivers exist just like bad men and incidentally also bad women exist and have existed since the beginning of humanity. Women need to be able to take care of themselves. And that is what I would teach my daughter. Hopefully, good men are also out there looking out for her, but it is foolishness to expect the entire world and all of the people in it, male or female, to be good. It is better to be safe and alive than to be ideologically right and politically correct on this. Women need to be able to take care of themselves. So yes, teach your sons and incidentally also your daughters to be good but also teach your daughters to not rely on random men, strange men, to hopefully be good men, which most men are. Teach your daughter to be able to spot the bad ones and to stay away from the bad ones and to run far away from dangerous situations and to not put herself in dangerous situations and to not make herself an easy target.